I don't think so. They're all into money. Yeah, I know that. It's... I don't know. I guess I'm just trying to get an answer from somebody. I'll give you an answer. There's no finer mother to her boy than you are to Billy. And that's the God's honest truth. We both know that. Barbara, if Mike goes ahead with this thing and we decide to fight it, we're going to have to go into court. In public. Newspapers. Do you know what that could mean? Oh, it could mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. And it could mean our jobs, this house, everything. I don't know that I have the right to ask that of you. I don't know. You have the right not to ask me. Shutting me out's no favor, Linda Ray. Ms. Linda Ray Gettner, please. That's me. Ms. Gettner, this is a notice of an action being instituted uh, with your party. Thank you. Have a nice night now. Well, let's see now. See what we're confronted with here. Your ex-husband has some pretty harsh allegations here. Says you and Mrs. Moreland been living in a homosexual relationship as man and wife. Says you held wild parties for the purpose of openly engaging in homosexual activities. That's a damn lie. It says vulgar language was used in front of the children. Excuse me, Mr. Mack. We know what it says. We read all the charges. And there's not one of them that's true. You and Mrs. Gettner are not homosexuals, then. Because that's what it says here. Well, no, that part is true enough. That part might be enough for a jury. It's a good thing that the child involved is a male. Why is Billy being a male good for our case? I can't see it make any difference. Well, if it were a girl, the jury might naturally assume that you'd be trying to indoctrinate the child into this lesbian lifestyle of yours. I don't think this is going to work out. Why is that, Mrs. Gettner? Well, I'm just a layperson, and I don't know much about the law and all. But I believe a person who says what you just said and believes it is an ass. Thank you, sir. Ladies, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to pass on representing you. I mean, it's... Not so much in response to the legal merits of your situation, but uh, I don't think I'd be giving you a fair shake. Why? Well, Mrs. Gettner, I don't happen to believe that your little boy would be better off living with you. I don't think I'm a bigot. I don't think I'm a prude. But I think you're dead wrong about this thing. Well, Mrs. Gettner, I don't want to take up your time when nothing's going to come of it. I understand that child custody cases are heartbreaking for the people involved, and I don't mean to minimize that for a minute. However, it's just not the sort of case that Richard, Mr. Cannon, and I went into practice to handle. 
I don't think I understand what you mean. Well, Miss Liebes and myself sort of have an understanding that we would uh, concentrate on important issues when we set up this office. And uh, your case, while I'm sure it has merit, just doesn't fall in that category. Lesbians aren't important. Please? Me and Linda Ray, we're lesbians. Linda Ray's little boy being taken away because of that, because of what we are. Well, he alleges that you'd run away with the children. I got $113 in the bank. How far am I going to run with that? And he alleges that David was so upset by the relationship between you two that he uh, moved in with his father. David was bribed away with that car. And he alleges that you held wild parties for the purpose of openly engaging in homosexual activities. That's a lie. That's a flat-out lie, and he knows it. I can't believe he'd say that. Can you prove it's a lie? Well, no. How can you prove something like that? But I'm going to be under oath, aren't I? And so is Barbara, for that matter. It doesn't matter what you say or what Barbara says. There's no jury who's going to believe either one of you. And I'm not so sure they ought to come right down to it. Why don't you think they ought to believe us? Because you're both dykes. All you care about, really, is yourself and your own sick, twisted version of reality. You'd pick up pieces of meat a blind dog would cross the street to avoid. You'd make a pass at a rock if someone put panties on it. You're a threat and a disgrace to every decent woman who ever drew a breath. I love my son very much. And what you just tried isn't going to work. Not even in court? Not even in court. Richard? Agreed. Penny. Oh, I was just thinking about Mama. Right her off, Linda Ray. That bridge is burned. No, I don't think so. Why not? Oh, it's just the way she looked right after she slapped me. She looked just like... Wait, she looked just like Mama. <laughs> Any trouble getting time off for those interviews with the psychologists? Only they don't call them interviews. They call them evaluations, whatever that means. Seem like a confident woman, Mrs. Gettner. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I am in uh, in some things, I suppose. What aren't you confident about? Um. Uh, what do you mean exactly? Oh, what worries you? Everybody has worries. Oh, I. Just the regular things, I think. You know, money. My job. Whether something would happen, the country would go to war. Do you worry about war a lot? Oh. Well, what's a lot? You tell me. What do you think a lot is? Uh, your lawyers are quite correct. I do agree with the stand taken by the American Psychiatric Association. That homosexuality is not a mental illness or an aberration. It's essentially just an alternate lifestyle. Then will you testify for me at my child's custody hearing? I hope that won't be necessary. Why? Well, it will take time away from my other patients, for one thing. And to put it bluntly, it's an unpopular cause, and I'm no martyr. But if it's necessary, would you testify? Oh, Linda Ray. Yes, ma'am. The chaplain told me about this custody matter that's uh, going to come up in court. I hope it goes well for you. Thank you very much. 
But I think it might be wise uh, if you didn't wear your name tag until it's all resolved. 